everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup look because my mom's co-workers wanted it, so here you go. I want to create a makeup channel, actually, fun fact, wow, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So um, if you like this, then like it. Let's get into it. First thing I like to do, sorry, I have to do this the beauty guru way. I like to use this, but only on like a few areas of my face. So I only grab like a little little pinch of it, get it on both fingers, and I tap it in. Because if you just rub it in, then you're not really like filling your pores. You're just kind of over top of them. Real quick side note, if you hear um, humming from my heater, it's cold in Michigan. Wow, um, we're surprised. That's how it be sometimes. I put some on my nose, on my chin, and some on my forehead. Yes, hi, that's my cat. You can kind of see his tail is on top of me. Go away, I love you. Next thing we're gonna do, some concealer. Cause I have a bad note and this can fix it. So we're gonna grab concealer before foundation. Just gonna like put it on our nose. You're probably thinking, that looks stupid. Well, it'll come together in the end. You gotta trust me. Next thing, I'm gonna tap it in with our beauty blender, yeah. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. Okay, now that our nose is covered, which, you know, I should have said this before, you don't have to do this step, but it makes your nose better. Next thing we're gonna do, Grab some foundation. I use Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Kind of the only one that comes in my shade. There's usually not a pale enough color. I'll do about three pumps. Put it on my hand. We're gonna tap this in as well. I just kicked the camera, so if that moved. Sorry. Now that we're done with foundation, we're gonna go back to concealer, which again, or in this way, don't know why I have this, I just kinda got it. No reason. We wanna put it on our T-zone areas, under our eyes, and I like to do it on my chin, cause my chin breaks out. Love being a teenager. Wait a minute, I'm an adult now. All right, we got it on, now it's time to Blending is the key to literally everything. Makeup blend. You look great. Okay, okay, we just use like a lot of like liquidy stuff, so but we're gonna have to set it with some powder. Um, I have Fenty Beauty powder because I just heard it was really good. I think it works good. I really don't have like that many opinions on makeup stuff, so whatever products works for you because like every product works differently for everybody, so. We are going to bake, which is grab a whole bunch of powder on a beauty blender, tap that into certain areas on all the places you put concealer, and then everywhere else we're just gonna put a brush over top of it because it doesn't need as much baking. This blanket is hanging by duct tape and I think I hear it coming off, so that'll be interesting. I know, I look like a clown. Okay, so you're gonna leave this on. Don't powder everything else yet. We'll get to that in a minute. But just leave this on. You gotta let it set in there. The next thing we're moving on to is our eyebrows. I hate doing my eyebrows so much. But I think that's why people might actually watch this if they know me. My eyebrows are usually decent, I think. I hope. <sighs> All right, so how we're gonna start, we're gonna grab a little bit of concealer. I have it on our hand. And then we're done with concealer for like the rest of this, hopefully. You want to do this. You want to. Brush out your eyebrows. Cause if you don't brush out your eyebrows, then it's gonna be harder to put the product on them. I'm gonna grab your eyebrow pencil. I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I think it's a little darker than my actual eyebrow shade, but I don't have another one. I zoomed in as much as I could without it going blurry, so I'm sorry. First thing we're gonna do, just shape it. Get the outline of the brow you want. And the brow you want, I gotta tell you that. Sorry, so. You want it to start here, the edge of your nose, straight up. The curve should be, so you're looking forward, right on the other side of your eye. And then for the end, the tail, you want it to be diagonal from your nose in the corner of your eye. That's where you want it. That's how your entire eyebrow should work out. And then throughout this entire right here, up until it curves, it should be perfectly thick. You want it to be the same throughout the entire right here. And then when it curves, then start to... Oh, 
Okay, if you have the outline of your brow, now you want to press harder over here and press a little lighter at the front so it doesn't look like a block. And now you can see right here, it's not straight. Here is where you're going to grab another brush and that concealer I had you put on the back of your hand. I'm going to tap into it and you're going to fix it with concealer. That is the only reason I think my eyebrows have ever worked out concealer. And then if you loop up the concealer, you're going to go back in with this. It's a never ending process until you get the right eyebrows. Okay, that's how this side should look. Now for the front of it, you want it to not be like a box, but you want it to be like more of like a, like a U-turn. That makes sense, yeah. Like a U-turn. Okay, that's how you do eyebrows. I'm gonna go do the other one now. See in like an hour. I'm just kidding, it'll be like two seconds for you, like an hour for me. I did it, I got my brows done. Okay, now that we finished our brows, you need brow gel. It's Gimme Brow by Benefit. What this is gonna do is just basically lock your um hairs in place because hairs can ruin a brow. Like this one's like facing that way, it just makes it look gross and we don't want gross. Looks great. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, primer lids, I have this Urban Decay primer, but this is one you can just kind of rub in. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, eyeshadow. I can't get both me and um this palette in the frame, so it's James Charles Morphe. Are we surprised? No. For me and this palette to work out, the shade canvas is too dark for me, so I have to dip into the super white and canvas and just kind of get a good blend of both. But I get a neutral shade or like um, a shade similar to my skin tone. Tap that on. This will just make it easier to blend all the future shadows. Okay, we have stuff on our lids. My usual thing, I just grab colors, blend them together. But I usually go for more brown looks, so that's probably what I'll do today. I don't know any of these shade names. They're not on here. I got rid of that a long time ago. Going for the shade under canvas. And you're just gonna put that in your crease. And you want it to go almost up to your brow, but not touching your brow. It's like a little gap. So you can really make those brows really show them off, and that's what you want. Then we're gonna go for the even darker brown. But we're only gonna put that about halfway through our crease. Make sure those are blended. And then I'm gonna go to the almost black brown. Grab a teeny bit of that, really tap it off. I'm just gonna place that on this super out. I grab a blending brush once I do all that and just blend it all together. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get some glitter. I'm just gonna find some random glitter, shove it on, but this is how you save any and every makeup look. You're gonna spritz it, your brush, put it in your color of your choice, and then you just pack it on. And then we're gonna blend that into the crease. Glitter makes every look look better. As you might be able to see, I went a little bit over between my, oh shoot, I never said that. Well, I'll tell you now. You wanna keep your shadow between the corner of your eye and the end of your eyebrow. I went a little over as you can see right here. So we're gonna grab some powder. We're just gonna go over top of that with our powder. If I'm really feeling it, then I like to put a little bit, oh yes, my makeup brush is chewed on, that's my dog. But if I'm really feeling it, I like to put like a little bit underneath my eye. Now we're done with eyeshadow. Mascara time, Um, I'm using this MAC one. MAC, yes, I think it is MAC. So you're gonna place this on your lashes and you're just gonna roll it back a little bit, almost so that it's touching your eyelid, like touching your eye. And then you're just gonna wiggle it. Now why do I do it so where I'm like almost touching my lid? It's so that you get the entire lash. Because a lot of the time people just like do like this and that's not getting your whole lash. You wanna get your entire lash because that gives it more of a lifted look. 
And always make sure you get your lower lash too because that makes your eyes look more open. Did I ever explain why you wiggle it? I probably didn't. You wiggle it so it separates the lashes a little more. If you have an applicator that has like more of like a rounded at the end of it, that makes it easier to get in there and get like those little inner corners because those lashes are hard to do without messing up all your eyeshadow and we don't want that. We are officially done with our eyes. You know what that means? It's time to get all that bake off. Swipe it away. Now that we have our bake off, we're gonna go in with our powder one more time to get the rest of our face, because we gotta do that. That part's pretty simple, I think. Next thing we're gonna do is bronze. That was gross, I'll never do that again, I'm sorry. But I have this more of a tapered brush. Don't know how happened to it, but it's like a tapered brush, a little edged. We're gonna start on our cheeks, and you wanna start super far back, literally at your hairline, and just circle. So when I put on my bronzer, I do a circle, and then a tap, 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 tap. That's really it. We got some on. We cut them cheeks. Next place I like to put my bronzer is on my forehead. The final place I'll always put it is on my jawline. I forgot to what... I forgot to mention one other place. I like to do my nose, but I don't do it with like one of those like little teeny brushes. I personally don't like like what it makes my nose look like. So I will just grab some bronzer and a fan brush, stip it in, and just go over top of it. That way your nose does have some color, but it's not like... Now to finish off our bronzer, we need... We need to cut these cheeks. So you're gonna grab some more powder on your beauty blender and just carve out your cheeks. You want your cheeks to be where your cheekbone is. Not very much lower, otherwise it gives more of like a sunken in look. Okay, the next step I usually like to do is go in for some blush. Have like a good mix of orange and pink or something like that. I don't I don't usually do much blush. I'm not a blush person, but for this tutorial, I'll do it. Now, when I put on blush, I only put it in one area, the apples of my cheeks. I don't like it when it's like, my blush isn't that big. Okay, the final thing I'll do Highlighter. I use it, obviously I use the Anastasia Glow Kit. And again, I'll use the fan brush. Oh, only, I only use the, um, I only use the fan brush for my cheeks, so. Sometimes if I'm really feeling it though, I will put some like, right here. So it just gives it more of like the dewy look. Okay, we're done using the fan brush, but we're still highlighting. I grab a mini, more flat brush. And with this, I get some more color, obviously. We love color here. And I put it on the top of my lip and on my two lines on my nose. I don't know what that is. I'll also get some to place at the tip of my nose. And we also just wanna put a little bit. We wanna, okay, when we do this, we gotta be extra careful. We're going to put it right in the middle of our nose, down it, but we're gonna leave like a little gap, kind of where the curve is, cause we don't wanna, I don't know, just don't do that, okay? Start right here. And then we'll put a little bit underneath our brow, cause we need to show off them brows, we worked hard on them. And then put some in the inner corner. Okay, now we can wipe away the bake on our cheeks. The almost final step for me, lipstick, and I use Too Faced Melted, I like it. There's a lot of drama with Too Faced right now though, but I'm still gonna use it because it's one of the only lipsticks I have. Grab a setting spray. This is mandatory. This will make like all like the extra power just powder, just melt into your skin. Mandatory. Just. That's it for the basics. Hello everybody, it's me. Surprise! Okay, so here's what happened. Um, the camera stopped recording and I didn't notice. So I'm ending this video, but I will give you tips for um, putting on like fake lashes. Like the best tip I can give you is definitely cut them so they fit your eyelid. And then when you do that, just make sure you line up the end with the end of your eye and then put them on that way. And also make sure that when you put them on, it's basically like on top of your lash. Best tips I can give you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.